Hello, uh, so recently I'm focused on making a uh, reliable high precision frequency standard. Um, actually, the starting point was to get the reliable uh, frequency standard to measure the output on my tiny uh, crystal oscillator. Actually, uh, we can program, but we don't know uh, how it is accurate if uh, we don't have a reliable high precision. Uh, frequency standard, and uh, as you as I uh, said in my video before, uh, if we have a, a little zoom oscillator, uh, that will be very um, reliable, but it's very expensive. So uh, I take another way to get a high precision from the GPS signal globally in positioning system, and uh, unfortunately, the, the this counter the maximum frequency. Uh, limit is just 4 megahertz. So for lower frequency measurement, this frequency counter is enough and it will provide very high precision. But uh, in high frequency or another measurement, we need another uh, way. And uh, as we know, any uh, time domain related uh, measurement of system uh, made by Keysight uh, Lotus Roads and there are a lot of companies has a 10 megahertz in out that can be the standard for the measurement in the time domain and if we can prepare very high deli uh, high precision reliable 10 megahertz uh, signal source uh, we can measure a uh, very high frequency just connecting the 10 megahertz standard to such an uh, instrument so this time I made another board. This is different from the um, previous one. As you see, it has a four BNC connectors and it has a four output. And each frequency can be fully programmed through the I squared C interface to the PLL IC Silicon Lab 5356A or something. And this command is published by the 80 mega 88 Actually, the 88 is enough for, for this operation. And uh, this GPS module provides very high accurate 8 MHz clock. And this clock is goes to the PLL circuit, PLI integrated circuit. And it can provide four different kind of frequency output. And actually, the frequency can be programmed uh, arbitrary frequency at the arbitrary frequency from the 1 megahertz to the 200 megahertz any frequency we can uh, create in very high accurate uh, in high accuracy trained by the GPS now let's see how it works actually now it connect the battery and as you see it turns to lead meaning that the currently the battery is charging but uh, I think almost full and uh, I did detach the USB cable and I prepare the frequency counter now let's connect the first output yeah it shows a 10 megahertz Actually, the eight uh, from eight megahertz with the PLL circuit, PLL integral circuit, this provide the ten megahertz. Actually, last digit is not zero, and uh, uh, indeed we can pre uh, we can believe this board, not frequency counter. Maybe the, this is a difference of uh, the actually error of the oscillator in the frequency counter. And uh, let's connect to the next one. Yeah, it is 20 megahertz. Currently, the program to this 20 megahertz, and uh, we can program any frequency up to 200. And the third one is, yeah, now currently it is 30 megahertz. And the last one is 40 megahertz. Yeah, almost zero. Yeah, it is very high it will have a very high precision and the next uh, let's see the waveform from the 10 megahertz by using the oscilloscope indeed this oscilloscope is not so good actually i bought just 1000 yen it's a junk 
oscillate or oscilloscope but we can see the 10 megahertz waveform yeah it can be work for the clock 10 megahertz and the next one is 20 yes and the third one is 30 megahertz yeah indeed uh, the bandwidth of this oscilloscope just have a 40 megahertz so it looks like uh, the sinusoidal wave but uh, it is not sinusoidal uh, I already confirmed the waveform of the 40 megahertz which has a squared more squared wave but it surely has an output and the waveform is acceptable and of course the frequency uh, stability should be very accurate because it is trained by the GPS. Have fun!